Finally, me, Johnny, introduce in painting tool. Hi, my name is Vladimir Chapin, and in this video, we're going over new updates on the mid journey, specifically in painting tool, how we can use it, what limit limitations and what benefits is giving to us. So first, here we have it, our mid journey in the discord, and I'm going to create a dark castle on the end of the cliff. And here we have it, our images. So let's go click open. And this is beautiful looking castle. But what if I don't like castle? I like, for example, this cliff, but I don't like the style of castle on the middle. And this is where in painting come in a power. First, let's go ahead and upscale this image. Now, when it's upscale, we can click and preview. You'll notice down below we have a new option. It says vary regions. This is what allowed us to modify specifically regions. Let's click and open this. And you'll notice we have it our image and we have it couple tools. We have it square and lasso. So the square tool is straightforward. We select and select the area we want to do. Or we can use it lasso tool. And in this case, we kind of need drag around. Notice it is can kind of go around areas, but it's somewhat remind vector tool when you do with a pen drag around. Of course, if you don't like how it's work, you can always erase and start over. So in this case, I'm just going like like a birds. I'm going right here and just go general around the castle. So at this point, I want to modify castle. I don't worry about all this other area. Let's erase our prompt and type Dracula castle crows flying storm dark scary. And we modify the prompt and let's click to generate our updates. As it's generating, also what I would suggest you to do, let's go look on our settings. And inside the settings, you'll notice we have a model selected 5.2. If you're not familiar with the settings, it's allowed you to preset some specific options without putting them in the flags or with dash dash commands. And if we look, we have our latest model. We have RAM mode stylized, so I'm want to use it medium stylized because I found if stylization too low, you don't have it variations images. And if it's too high, it's too big variations. I always can come back and modify stylizations on specific image because I do have a seed number and I can recreate. And of course we have it stylized higher. My um, images generated in public mode so you can review. The next one I recommend for you highly to check it's called remix mode. With remix mode, anytime when you move upscale or do vary, it's come with a prompt. So you can modify prompt and adjust. This has become very useful when we're going to extend. I'll show you in a second when we're going to do this, like move extend to the right or left or otherwise. Next, we have a high variation mode. And the reason is when I create options, I want to see all these different options to select one that I like it. And when I narrow down specific style, I like to switch to the low variation mode. So I'm more finding tune inside. And down below, I'm working in the fast mode. Turbo mode, I did not find that much different for me and fast mode worked just fine. Okay, so let's go see what we have it. Here we have our image and notice the castle is changed. This is a big, big, nice update for me because Mostly I found the problem when I create something and just one single element just does not fit. Now you finally have it this in painting that it was for a long time in many other applications. I just I'm very glad they finally decided to do this. So let's do another experiment. We're going to upscale this image. And notice we also have a variation. Another thing need to keep it in mind. If we change a resolution move to left or right, we won't have it in its option to in paintings. So what we're going to do, I'm going to expand to the our right side 
and right here we just can keep it same you'll notice we have it and let's do one more time on on this i want to write stormy dark ocean and this is the reason why i do like have it a remix mode is enabled so you can modify prompt as you expanding and tweak so even with this just stormy things let's go put it there okay so right here our result on a panning and you notice we have it another castle because we did not modify our string and of course it's previewed says you want to dracula castle so they're creating another one if you're going for that it's work however i want just the ocean and other ones where just put it stormy dark ocean you can see right here it's perfect extend and extend with the ocean water so in this case if i want even extend more with the ocean i can again just upscale this image that i want to work with this for example the top and i can again expand even a little bit more to the side notice as we're done we don't have any more options for in painting if you want to do in painting on this image then we need to do make square which is actually reduce resolution of our image if you not yet aware but anytime when we pan for example let's go pan again to the right each time it does not shrink back to 1024 or 2000 it's actually add and expanding so you're getting bigger and bigger image only to the specific directions where you start up and down or a left to right and right here our square is working let's preview we can go and select one image Again, I kind of necessarily like it that you must to do a square to continue in painting if you want it. And notice that these pop up now right here. But they want to shrink down image from your resolution a little bit lower. And you lose on this. I hope in a future update that allowed us to do in painting on the sizes without reducing sizes or make it a square or going actually not to square it's going more to the smaller size the original size and we can verify this but for example do you imagine and in this case we'll just go and type ar2 by 3 so it's a little bit non square resolution and we'll just verify that very or in painting will work with any type of aspect ratio as long it will stay in original resolution and here our image i kind of like this top one it's look very interesting let's go ahead upscale this image and after upscaling you notice we again have this available option on vary or region so we can go ahead and using in painting tool inside this image as well and of course if you're using also like zoom out options that will take your image reduce in the resolution and then you again can go ahead and use it in painting as well so just generally if you perform any operations that will scale your image extended image back to original resolutions then you can use it in painting here is a small update but i think it is very important update from Midjourney. hopefully you have a great time to create see you next time